Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Universal Windows Platform UWP project using Blend for Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. UWP Universal Windows Platform is a framework for creating client applications for Windows. UWP apps use WinRTE APIs to provide powerful UI and advanced asynchronous features that are ideal for internet connected devices. And of course, Blend for Visual Studio is a user interface design tool developed by Microsoft for creating graphical interfaces. So enough of all the talking, let's get into the real stuff, yeah? So to get us started, Please make sure you um you download and install Microsoft Visual Studio. At this moment, I'm using the community version 2022. So make sure you have this downloaded and installed. So once you're done with that bit here, you open the Visual Studio installer and click on the modify. So here we look for under the desktop and mobile, we're gonna select uh, universal windows platform development yeah so once we select this here this will be a blend for visual studio will be included automatically so we're not going to download and install that separately so once we're done with that bit here it's going to require about 6.6 .6 gig so you need to bear that in mind as well so we click on the modify to download and install all the components So this might actually take a while. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video while the whole thing completes. So, okay, now we have the download and installation completed. So what we do is we can come to the windows start and our windows search here and, and type the blend for visual studio. So we should get it appearing here. So we click on, we open it. This normally takes a while, but let's hope. Yeah, so it actually opens. So what we do is we, cl we click on the create a new project. So here uh, you can select. Um, the, the project type that you want to use. So we're going to select the UWP here. So as you can see here now, we have it appearing. So we select the first one. So you can select the UWP um, in C Sharp or Visual Basic. Yeah, <clears throat> so we select the first bit, the blank app. So this is a project template for a single page universal Windows platform application that has no predefined controls and layouts or layouts. Yeah, so we click on the next. So here, we can configure the project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So we click on the create. So here you can select um, the minimum uh, minimum platform version that you want to use. So we're just going to we're not going to change anything. We're going to use it, leave it as it is, yeah. And we click on OK. So here, uh, this device needs to be set up correctly to develop this type of app for Windows. If you don't, then you can't install and test your app. So here, I don't. Um, we have to make some some changes to your settings. So you go and click on the settings here. And you set it to a developer mode, yeah? So now you can actually test um, the application. So we close it. So now, as you can see, we have the application loaded. 
So here we can actually run it on our local machine. But before we do that, we're just going to look briefly what the project has inside. So we come here. I'm just going to move, push this down here. Yeah. So here is this the solution explorer and this the project. So inside it, we've got the usual references here yeah. and we've got a folder called assets. So this is where you put your images and stuff here. Yeah. And then we've got um, the app.summer or this has the application configurations. And then we've got the main, the main page. So this actually holds the main page. And once we expand it, we've got the main page dot ASML dot CS. So this is where you put the code behind. So as you can see, the main page is, in, is um, inherited from a parent class page. Yes. So we look briefly again at the, uh, the main page. So here, obviously, as you can see, uh, we have the design on top and then the, the code, the XAML code um, at the bottom. So here, whatever changes that you make. So let's set the background here yeah, uh, to, let's say, red. Yeah. So whatever change that you make, it reflects on the visual side immediately. Yeah. So let's put a button there. So let's put a button. So let's say, click me inside the button. So we can say horizontal alignment. We can put a hor um, in horizontal alignment center. And the vertical alignment center. And Simply the content. Okay, the content. We're gonna move the click me in, into the content. Click me. We're gonna put a click me here. Yeah. So we remove. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is here, cause. We, we, we're just showing you how to get started. So on the next video, we go into details, yeah? So we're just gonna F5 and see what actually comes out of it before I sign out. So this is where we actually get on our first run. So we have the, bot the bottom here, it's, it's really nothing here, but obviously we can design it inside our our blend but we, we leave it for next day so once again if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are bless bye bye